Good morning, observers. Today we've got several space weather items to hit. We'll check in on the UK and Ireland. There's a new study out about sand ripples at large scale and what causes them. We've got magnetar mysteries and confirmation of the party line on the magnetic pole shift. Right now, we've shifted to 193 angstroms of light with the last 24 hours on our star. Things were pretty calm. Solar flaring is dropping out as the large sunspot groups depart the Earth-facing half of the sun. There are several items on the watch list, and that begins with the two plasma eruptions the sun sent our way about 48 hours ago. They are closing in on geospace and should begin to make their Earth impacts tonight. Eyes open. Minor solar storm condition auroras are likely. Up next, folks, the big sunspots continue turning out of view. That's why the flaring is lower. And as we said yesterday, that blank hemisphere turning in from the left actually will be speckled with sunspots. Best way to see it is here where the brightness of the departing sunspots on the right is also seen coming over the left side as well. We'll see those soon. You can also notice the darkness at the left side in 211 angstroms, stretching longitudinally. That's the next major coronal hole. Despite its reach up to the north, it is actually the south polar opening. We'll be facing Earth next week. Prayers for the islands in the northeast Atlantic. Extra tropical storm pounding the area with hurricane force winds. Cleanup is underway while the fastest winds are heading northward now. Absolutely brutal windstorm. Up next, we're going to a cool graphic from a paper on sand ripples and what causes them, including impactors and water. If any of you have seen the desert ripple analyses like the ones by Jimmy Corsetti at Bright Insight, this paper can help fine-tune your eye on which ripples come from which sources. Interesting mystery up next. They say that a gamma ray burst has caused them to rethink all of their rules. The duration of the X-rays and gamma rays doesn't fit any known model of the gamma burst production. Folks, humans really do just guess at deep space. We really don't know. Lastly, folks, what we do know is that we've been discussing the weaker magnetic field of Earth a lot lately. Here we get another confirmation that the smaller and weaker solar eruptions of May 2024 hit Earth much harder than the bigger and stronger eruptions of 2003. We knew it made bigger auroras, now we have the data that its punch was more powerful, which again is only possible if this planet is on the downward spiral of the magnetic pole shift, which we are. Now that the Suspicious Observer's name is retired, we've decided to do one last run of the Suspicious Observer's gear. Folks, if you have any of the old gear that says Suspicious Observer's and not Space Weather News, that is rare stuff now. Link below to get the last run with the old name. Only available until January 31st, and based on yesterday, they're not going to last that long. Link below. Also, don't forget to come see us in person. We've got a pole shift disaster cycle conference tomorrow plenty more events this year. Pick a date, come see us, and it starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.